Hey, what's good everybody? Jamie Lewis back at y'all with another prediction video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. Any videos y'all want me to react to, hit me up. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Hive at jvlewis77. Check out my Twitch gaming channel, Jamie Lewis, as I'm streaming on Xbox Series X. Check me out on TikTok, jvlewis77. And check the members if you're interested in joining out. I'm about to do my prediction for WWE's Royal Rumble 2023. So, it's not a lot here. I'm going to go ahead and knock out this uh, prediction real quick. Uh, I plan on doing a live watch uh, tomorrow, so check the YouTube channel, check my social media, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, a cool thing that you can also do, uh, one of my favorite, uh, I got so many favorite like wrestling podcasts, but the WrestleCast got a hashtag called RumbleCast, you know, Rumble, C-A-S-T, you know, check out the hashtag and, you know, just... I'm going to go through these uh, predictions. So let's start off with Bray Wyatt versus LA Knight in a Mountain Dew pitch black match. So much speculation on what this is. Who even knows what this is? What iteration of Bray Wyatt are we even getting? We getting we getting one of the fun house? Are we getting like Uncle Howdy? Are we getting the Fiend? Are we getting just regular Bray Wyatt? We don't even know. Either way, Bray Wyatt is winning this. I think this is to keep going. Uh, LA Knight, he's been good in his role here as he's been putting like some reality into it. The way he's talking about what's going on and his opinions is like, he ain't just like, oh, I'm just mystified and everything. He just like bringing some realism to it. So he's been, uh, even though he's been getting physically, he's been getting beat down, but you know, he's one of the best on the mic and I've really been enjoying it. But Bray Wyatt is winning this. Um, the Raw Women's Championship, Bianca Belair versus Alexa Bliss. I'm going with Bianca 100%, but I, you could just see Alexa sneaking one out. I mean, you could expect like some mystical, magical shenanigans or whatever. Um, I mean, I'm going to go with Bianca, but like that is the only way that it's believable that Alexa can win this match is if she uses her little, uh, tactics, you know. Other than that, her being Bianca straight up, it's not believable, but uh, I think Becky need to get on the game. Uh, don't let none of them distractions and stuff fool you. Just beat the little munchkin down. Got it. And then you got the uh, WWE Universal Championship. Uh, Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens. Of course, we going Kevin. Oh, I mean, I said, damn, I'm tripping. We going Roman Reigns 100%. This is not the time that uh, Roman's gonna lose. I just want to know if they're gonna do something about splitting up these belts. Um, now Sammy's got one last test, but we have no idea what that test even is. Is this helping Roman win this? Does it have to do with the Rumble? We don't even know. But without a doubt, um, Roman Reigns is winning this match, and of course he's got the bloodline and Kevin running solo. So now we got the men and women's Royal Rumble. So I'm going to do what I've done the last couple of years, doing a prediction. I'm going to pick three people from the men and three people from the women who I think with the top person I pick is the most likely to win. So when it comes with the men, I think it's, it's, I mean, Cody seems so obvious that it's almost too obvious, but I got three people without a doubt. I think everybody feels the same. Um, Cody, Sami Zayn, and Seth Rollins. Those are my top three. I'm going to go with Cody to win, but Sammy is a strong two, and Seth Rollins is a number three. Now, for the women, it's almost obvious that it's going to be real Ripley. That is almost too obvious, you know. This is probably one of the most uh, predictable, unpredictable rumbles ever, you know. Like, because last year's rumble with Ronda winning for the women, oh, God. We still want our time back from that. Uh, oh, I mean, like I said, it was a surprise, but hopefully they don't do nothing like that. Wait a minute. Hold up. Is Brock going to be in the Rumble? Wouldn't that be something? Is Brock going to be in the Rumble, or is he just came back for Lashley? Okay, put a uh, put an underline on Brock name. You know what I'm saying? So we just don't forget that. Uh, but like I said, Cody, Sammy, Seth, you know. Um, like I say, for the women, it's just real, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to, like I say, it's, it's, it's like, 
okay, I'm going to go with a strong two uh, if she comes back. And that's Naomi. If she comes back, I see Naomi as a strong number two. Uh, yeah, if she comes back, you know, that would be something. You know, she comes back and win it. That would be cool. Uh, she could challenge uh, Bianca. Or she could challenge, or she could challenge Charlotte, because I remember Charlotte said in the interview that her and Naomi has unfinished business, and they was putting on some bangers uh, before uh, Naomi left, so that would be cool. And plus, the bloodline is on SmackDown anyway. Um, and number three, uh, I guess. You know what? See, I got I got three people in mind. I got Becky, Bailey, and Shayna. I mean, Bailey has had number numerous opportunities at the championship, and she's lost to Bianca. Becky, you know, even though she's got a hands full with Becky, Shayna, Shayna could be a dark horse. You know what? I'm going to put uh, Shayna at number three. You know, just as a dark horse. You know what I'm saying? And that could start something with her and Ronda. You know, jealousy and stuff like that. So. Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do that, you know, obviously. And plus, what I really like about this rumble is it's rumored with so many surprises, but it's nothing confirmed. It was so much confirmed last year, so I'm glad this year nothing is really confirmed because you heard all this stuff about. And obviously, you know, you're looking for hoping that NXT people show up. You know, maybe a Carmelo uh, on the women's side. You know, maybe a Roxanne. Uh, you know, like a Cora Jade or something like that, you know. Um, then you hear stuff about, you know, Jay White, Tamatanga, Zack Ryder, you know what I mean? So, so obviously, you know, some legends, you know what I'm saying? So, so we'll see how this play out. So, to recap, Bray Wyatt is going to uh, beat LA Knight. Bianca is going to retain against Alexa Bliss. Roman Reigns retains against Kevin Owens and my top three for the men rumble is Cody, Sami Zayn, and Seth Rollins. And I'ma underline Brock. As a as a uh, you know, just cause just in case, you know. Uh for the women, it got Rhea, I got maybe a returning Naomi number two, and I'm going with Shayna Baszler number three. So there's my predictions. Give me y'all predictions. Let me know what y'all think. Uh you know, stay tuned for the live watch. Really going to enjoy this. Hope this because I I think it's already going to be better than last year's, you know. So we'll just see how it works out. So with that being said, subscribe to the channel with the like button. JB Lewis, y'all be safe out here. Catch y'all on the rebound. Check out the Patreon. Hit the notification button. Check out the Twitch gaming channel. Check me out on TikTok. Check out the memberships. And I'll see y'all good people next video. Peace.